All right, guys. I totally, first off, I want to say I miss all you guys. I wish I could talk to you on the streams. Uh, I really do miss live streaming. It's been forever. It's like been two months or more now, and I've only been able to stream three times in that in uh, in that timeline uh, because of my streaming services being revoked for some reason, which we still have no idea why. Okay, guys. Like, there's nothing. They haven't told me exactly why or anything, right? So I have no idea why it was revoked. It makes no sense. So since I can't go live, I'm gonna do the the studio tour video uh, by a bit. By video <laughs> instead of instead of doing a live streaming I know we talk about this stuff when, when we're live but uh, as soon as we're back live I have a new show uh, ready to go uh, a new stream that I put together so I really I'm really looking forward to that so as soon as I'm back as soon as I'm, I'm able to go back I have a, I have a Sunday morning show ready to go um, I had some people lined up for the Friday night show as well so I'm hopeful, hoping that we get this back really soon and we don't have to wait uh, forever. And um, I, it just doesn't make any sense. But uh, in the meantime, I'm like 60 hours away from 4,000 watch hours. So I'm inching, inching there every day. I'm inching, inching closer and closer to that uh, 4,000 watch hours. Uh, it would have been way over if I was able to stream. Uh, but because I haven't been streaming, the hours have been slowly going up. But it is nice to know, though, that my videos are su are sustaining my watch hours, which is good. So I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, please share out the channel. Share out the, this video. The more you guys share this videos out, uh, share me out, the better, the more it helps the channel. Um, it Right now, sharing out my channel is more than super chatting, more than donating. It's, it's more meaningful than, than any money that you guys can give me right now. Sharing is caring and sharing, uh, sharing out my channel is really what I'm hoping that you guys will do for me. Uh, you guys have been in tremendous support up till now and uh, I can't wait to, uh, you know, it's going to be great. Uh, come in the, coming in the new year, we're going to have some really, really cool things going here. So uh, once again, and I just want to say thank you to everybody for all your support uh, through over the over the past year and seven months or eight months it's been uh, it's been quite a roller coaster ride for me I've come a long way I've learned so much about the platform um, and uh, my videos from when I started to now uh, just have served so different right and um, yeah I definitely came a long way learned a lot and I'm um, glad to share the share the my studio with you guys today all right Hi, my name is Chris Conkle and welcome to my studio. I'd love to show you guys around and uh, show you guys what we're shooting with, what we're playing with here. Uh, this is the setup that we put together uh, so that we can uh, do live shows for you guys. Uh, shoot, this is where I edit all my videos. Uh, I do all my live streaming from here basically. I got a second, a second station set up right here. Uh, which will be awesome. This is for uh, Ben will be here uh, when we're live streaming It'll be nice to have somebody working on another computer doing moderating and things like that So we have we this is a 19 inch uh, Huey on drawing tablet and uh, This is the uh, this is an Alienware laptop But I can also have Ben uh, in through the discord uh, with the his mic here. This is his is the audio technica 2020 uh, through the uh, Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, the Gen 2, and um, this computer here is a beefy bastard as well here, so <laughs> let's see here if I can get it. <clears throat> but yeah, that's a beefy bastard too, right? I, my computer is the Alienware. Uh, we got a lot of RAM, we have a lot of CPU power in here. I also need to get some lighting up in here for Ben, right? Some lighting in here, but what a setup, eh? Lucky kid. You know, that's the drawing tablet, so it's a drawing screen, right? Um, and then, yeah, the, the laptop is great because you can just take it out, but right now we're running it just as a monitor while it's, while it's stationed here, but when we're, we need to take it to go to edit somewhere else, and that's, a, that's something that we can do. Um, ben, ben, of course, his chair. <laughs> Uh, we got or whoever's running this station moderating or whatever watching the like moderating the videos and or helping out the, will be in this in this station the whiteboard will be going up. I got paintings and other things coming up But uh, pretty cool. I'm like, really excited about it all. It's all it's come together like from where we where we've come where we've <laughs> where I started uh, and, uh, industrial uh, in no time so um, following California's new mandate requiring solar powered systems for residential construction a uh, decade would be the first time and, and it's only been a handful out of all the jobs I've been on right with hundreds of guys yeah. I have, but I have I have hired 
uh, women before, and they are actually one of the, they work harder than most of the men. I, um, I agree. To be honest. I agree. As a foreman, uh, and we do drywall and steel stud, and um, and, and yeah, women are very hard workers. They got really good work ethic, and um, they're just easier to get along with, I find, <laughs> right? Um um, Depot, I mean, I, I hardly even ask anybody in there for anything because, first of all, I know where everything is. And second of all, if I say, hey, uh, you know, yep. like if I'm doing some property maintenance, if I say, hey, uh, where's your where's your screen door latches or something? They'll be like, oh, uh, go down to eight hardware. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not on eight hardware. Like they yeah. don't even know where the shit is in the store sometimes. No, I know. 10 years, 11 years or so. He didn't really show me anything like, you know, mm -hmm. the fix with my hand. So I kind of learned it on my own watching YouTube videos <laughs> at the time manly? when there was MySpace, you know, yeah. <laughs> the MySpace era. Yeah, so I was like right? looking at videos, people like fixing doors and a, a million dollar crane, right? Like it, Yours is a big, it's a big boy. Eh? Like, we paid a million dollars for it used. Million dollars used. Wow, wow, that's ama That's amazing, actually. Wow. Yeah, there's been many times I've been on a job. I thought about just selling it and run, run away with the money. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so uh, they're rushing too fast on the yeah. complexes. Yeah. So how is how is that where you guys are? Because what um, Autobahn Dan is saying is that they're rushing too fast on complexes, which I've seen to be true for the most part. Once in a while, you get a high quality complex, right? Like high rise, like four story walk up even, right, or something. I think they're all being rushed. Everything is. I mean, even new houses, it, like. It yeah, take, it takes a couple months to build a whole house now. Uh, I haven't I haven't participated in in uh, the building of any of them, but as fast as they're going up, and then the service calls that are generated uh, that I do go on after the fact, because you know they'll they'll have the builder, you know, to uh, to maneuver up here, right? So I'm pretty happy about that. So I definitely want to want to test that out as well tonight. I have I haven't been able to stream since uh, since I've set it up, so like to hear it, see what it sounds like. Uh, I did turn that off, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, it will come so far, right? Uh, this here is a, a white card for uh, or sorry, this here is a gray card for setting your white balance on your videos. So I use that for when I'm live streaming. I hold up the the gray card to the camera. And it, and it sets the white balance for me, right? Uh, it's all it's also used for when you're doing actual videos as well, right? So I got the dude boom arm set up. I'm excited because I haven't really done any streaming yet. Cause I um, uh, YouTube's revoked my live streaming service again, so <laughs> I haven't been able to to do that to do any streaming, which sucks, right? So I'm I'm live on Twitch right now while I shoot this video. Uh, the one of the very first pieces I got, my wife and kids bought me the Cougar Armor Chair, which I love, absolutely love. It's my favorite out of all the gaming chairs that are out there. The Cougar is the, is my favorite. <laughs> um, it's probably one of the most unique chairs out there. Oh, oh right, oh my woodies, my woodies. I love these glasses, man. These are my woodies. Let's see here. Hopefully it's not uh, going out of focus. But yeah, my woodies are awesome. I love these glasses. Um, but uh, let's see here. So the Rode NT1A. I'm so glad I got this mic. It's got more dynamic range than the NT1. So uh, I went with the one NT1A. It, uh, a beautiful microphone. It's a $300 microphone. Uh, I got the Behringer Xenix 802. This was sent to me from Neil uh, Crypto Cruising, or who is now the Urban Explorer. Uh, he sent this all the way from the UK uh, to me, right? So I have my computer audio coming out into it, right? And back out again. So I can, uh, when I'm streaming or recording, I can control my, uh, my computer audio and my microphone separately, right? So <laughs> that's pretty cool. My, uh, the stream deck, which is, uh, awesome, man. These things are amazing. You can go forever with these things, like, up, like, there's so many menus. Uh, you just, you can go forever and ever. Folders, like, making folders with these things. I love the stream deck. Uh, 
so awesome. I'm so glad I got that. Uh, I use an Xbox controller a lot when I'm gaming. Um, this right here is a card reader, which I used for um, my GoPro, right? My, my GoPro is charging right now, but I always use this at work when I'm shooting because it, it just takes the abuse, right? It gets dirty, like beat up. Like, look at this. GoPro has been through so much abuse. Uh, and it's and it keeps ticking. It keeps recording videos on site for me. Uh, this is my Alienware computer. My lighting's not working right now for some reason. I wonder what's up with that. It's working on the front. I don't know if it's working on here, but it's usually purple. Uh, but yeah, you can see on the front the purple. Usually it's purple on the side. I don't know why the light's not working. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, but yeah, this is the HTC Vive Pro. Uh, the Netgear router. Uh, which is a uh, very fuck man. This router was like 600 bucks, uh, but it's really awesome This is like my nostalgia right here, right? I love this my Tron all these little figurines mean something important to me, right? Uh, there's my grandmother right there. So I have my grandmother and my grandfather here with me all the time um, but yeah, so the the, the, this is for the HTC Vive Pro, right? But like the cords, man, like the cords are insane. The, th the amount of things I have plugged into here is just outrageously oh, crazy awesome, right? My new headphones, the uh, Audio-Technica MTX M MH50s. I love these things. I absolutely love those headphones. Uh, I use the trackball mouse. I like the trackball mouse with my uh, wrist injuries and stuff. The trackball mouse is the best because, you know, I don't have to use my wrist, right? So it just makes sense, right? This is the carbon keyboard. And what's so cool about this keyboard is I have, um, this is my Brio webcam plugged into it as an extension up to here, right? So it's, uh, it's, uh, I, I didn't need to have that extra extension. I could just was able to plug it right into the carbon keyboard, <laughs> which is awesome, right? And I got these old speakers back here too for when I don't want to have headphones, but uh, that's the Brio with the wall mount there. I love it being mounted there now, right? And then I have my original C920 right there, and that's hooked up to a, a small rig clamp, right? So that's a small rig clamp. Uh, I don't know what it says anywhere. Yeah, small rig clamp right there. But yeah, that's my uh, my first original webcam right there. And uh, this is a uh, uh, this is my lighting rack here. The LED lighting. I cut the gels all myself, right? So I colored them all myself. I cut all the gels. I have a whole bunch of colors of gels, right? Um, always <laughs> researching, right? So I'm researching uh, videos here. Um, always, always got research on the go for videos and live streams and stuff like that. Uh, so the, so the clipboards are for, they're always for my research. I actually shot some rich, some of my original first videos I shot on this camera, so I'm keeping it forever, right? Just because I think it's absolutely hilarious, because uh, it was such a shitty quality, <laughs> right? That, um, uh, I just thought it was hilarious. But, uh, yeah, these are, these are actually, uh, different lenses for my cell phone, right? Right now I'm using the wide lens, and um, yeah, but these are different uh, lenses for the cell phone, and I'm using Filmic Pro right now to record, which is totally rad, right? Um, I have this is a, as a third camera, this is the 930E. Uh, on This is a Manfrotto stand uh, with some extra camera rigging, okay? I have extra uh, rails and stuff like that uh, for like rigging a DSLR camera, so I got tons of different rigging stuff for that. But that's cool. I, I This is the catch, uh, the back view. Uh, I'm going to get a couple more cameras set up for Ben uh, as well. So we're going to have, I think it's like, uh, I counted six cameras going here all at once. This TV is actually a 3D TV too, right? So that's a 3D TV. Um, I got gels up in here too. And I have this little light back here. Let me turn on the, I don't even have those lights on. I got the this light in the background uh, with a gel, a purple gel on it, lighting up the, this is a picture that belonged to my brother-in-law, Taylor, uh, who passed away last year, um, uh, who we really dearly miss. Uh, him and his girlfriend passed away uh, last year. Uh, suddenly, we were, we missed them so much. And so that's him. He's always with us too uh, when, we're, when we're streaming and stuff. So there's Taylor always with us. 
Um, and yeah, this picture here was a was a was a was a play that I directed when I was in high school. Uh, there's me right there, Mr. Director, and there's a few actors, and we were practicing out in a barn, uh, shooting in a barn, right? Uh, so yeah, that's a, just a picture that was in the newspaper, and my mom was able to get the original uh, negative to get a print done. And I think on the back is the actual. Yeah, it is too still. <laughs> So here's the actual brochure. So there is the hypocrite. Molière's Tatoufe, the hypocrite. Um, so yeah, it was pretty cool. I directed that uh, when I was um, 17 years old, believe it or not. So that was pretty cool. So hopefully I can get this back on here. Oh, oh, oh. I need a gimbal for sure. Michael Daniels is going to be mad again. <laughs> Um, then Radiohead, I love Radiohead. This was a gift. Um, a girl, uh, as, as like a, a secret Santa, and a girl who got me really liked. We talked about music and stuff all the time, and she really outdid herself and got me this record framed. Uh, so I appreciate her a lot. This is Nina Simone's daughter. So she was here doing a show, and Courtney, um, I was so disappointed I couldn't get to see her, but she gave me the pass and signed a poster for me. But yeah, Nina Simone's daughter. Oh uh, man, I love Nina Simone. So I was really, really excited when I, when I found out her daughter was coming to, uh, it was the festival place in Sherwood Park, but I, I wasn't able to go, so. Oh, my router's a little dusty. But yeah, so my Ninja Turtle was my skateboard. My Speed Racer car, which is really important because that was, that that is special for when Ben was a kid. And uh, this is Mangle from Five Nights at Freddy's. Hulk, of course. Uh, classic, a, vin a vintage uh, Santa Cruz skateboard. That's also, that's Bloom Boy from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. The HTC Vive, that's the Maverick from Logan Paul. Um, other creators, this is also the box, the box pack here. So, uh, my Filmic, uh, uh my Rode Fil uh, Video Mic Pro, uh, this is the Rode attachment for the mic that hooked my phone, which doesn't work. Um, the Iris Mouse, the Stream Deck, uh, the Rode NT1A, the Netgear router right here. Uh, this is from the, from the Behringer Xenix 802, uh, courtesy of Neil from the UK who sent that to me over which uh, I love him so much, dearly for. Uh, this is the AT, uh, Audio Technica, this is the AT2020, the uh, Benz mic, and then my headset, the M50s, uh, other creators, the Creator Chaos. Shout out to the Creator Chaos, right? Another great, cool community of creators. Uh, the show, a live show every Tuesday evening. Uh, this belongs to my grandfather. And uh, I think one of the girls will probably end up with this because he was a smaller, smaller man. So, uh, but the girls are already eyeing it up and playing with it. So, and then of course the VCG guys, very cool construction guys uh, on YouTube as well. I got uh, tons of their gear. I got uh, shirts and stuff from them as well. Uh, your real estate whisper, very awesome, awesome couple. Her, this is her husband Eddie. And uh, Chuck Chuck, <laughs> right? The VCG, Real Estate Risper, and the Road, the Nighthawk, which is the rudder. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I also pulled out a couple of other things for you guys. This is uh, this is a, a, another uh, article clipping from the uh, the the play that uh, I directed, and then this is an old football clipping. There's me right there. Good old. I think I was playing defensive end. Uh, uh, during that game, and that's uh, me uh, laying a hit on the quarterback there. Of course, I was a savage. That was my very first year, my rookie year. So uh, that was the first time I was in the paper for football. And uh, yeah, I was uh, I was in the paper quite a bit for football, and and then in, and then for theater. Uh, oh, and before that, I was in it for figure skating. Believe it or not. So yeah, I used to be a competitive figure skater. Um, but uh, yeah, I always played a lot. I played a lot of sports when I was younger. I love playing sports. Um, but yeah, so that's it, man. That's my studio, I think. Uh, did I miss anything? Look at the old school TV, even like rock, rock and that, eh? We got the old, uh, Nintendo down there, and we got a foos, little foosball, uh, plus the, uh, PS2. Uh, the, the new artwork, the, this is, uh, my man Puck. Uh, we're gonna be going up, uh, above the, the monitor. That's my Radiohead, Radiohead, man. That's my favorite band in the world. I love Radiohead, man. But look at this place. It's a freaking mess. So um, I got a lot of work to do today. 
Uh, I just wanted to kind of give you a before and after kind of look. Dirty less laundry ring. Everything uh, is just a mess. It's just a mess. Especially we just, you know, um, came off of some pretty crazy shit. So uh, we got Maverick, of course. We're Mavericks, right? We're uh, Logan Paul is going to just cream KSI. Uh, we hope. Uh, actually, we know it. We don't, we don't even, we, we know he's going to kick that guy's ass. Um, and uh, rightly so, the kid's a punk. So, uh, <clears throat> the Bakugans are cool, man. This is like when my son was little. Uh, I actually did a Bakugan uh, television commercial back in the day, and it was so rad. Uh, the special effects, I got the G.I. Joes. Um, this place is a total mess, eh? I got the Halo Lego. Uh, I got my little uh, tech decks. Oh, man, I love skating. Um, Naruto, eh? Uh, I got the Naruto uh, Kunai is there and uh, we got the, the that's the Stone Village headband but we we wanted the leaf but it was unavailable for Halloween so we just got this but we'll probably get the, the leaf village uh, one here too um, the that's when one last Halloween he was a, a ninja from the Stone Village or whatever uh, from Naruto um, and the year before that uh, it was attack on Titan so I built him this uh, o, was it ODP gear and uh, from attack on Titan so yeah we got the, we got the sword at uh, comic-con and then I just built the boxes um, with foam core and uh, painted them and yeah just from back in my old film days right I got the I used the actual construction tool belt uh, for to hold it up uh, this is actually duct work with a, I just took a fan out of something I can't remember what but put it filled it with spray foam stuck it in there with the foam so it looks really badass and then of course just the the packs this is all just plumbing foam core and then I got the light uh, balsa wood for supports in and out so the one by and um, it's really it's some of it like this actually plugs in here it's got at least some work but I got put four leather belts four leather belts to strap to his knees and then of course we got the the, the it's all wired up as well uh, but uh, uh, we got yeah we ordered this from from Japan the cape and uh, the the jacket so hope you enjoy the video if you're new to the channel subscribe right down below and YouTube thinks you might like this video right here so give it a watch this is Chris everybody bye for now hmm.